Today, we are looking at Magic's Music Maker, the free edition release 2020 and its track automation feature. So let's have a look at it. So what is automation? It basically allows you to change the parameters of a track or of a clip during the progression of a song, most likely a volume and panning, effect sends, etc. Here I'm going to demonstrate where you can find in Magic Music Maker those automation options. And of course, this is also a message to Magic because there are issues with its automation. It doesn't work correctly. I hope that Magic will find this video and fix the problems. So here we go. Where do we find them? They are under the track, under the effects. And you can click and you can see automation right there. So we have a volume, panning, FX1 level, FX2 level, smooth filter and sharp filter. We'll look at at a later date. So let's have a look at volume for this track. You can see that green line. Let me just zoom in. So basically what it means is that the volume will actually start from about there and increase to that level and stay to that level throughout the rest of the song. This allows automatically changing of volume or increasing of the volume as the song progresses. So let's have a listen to that track. So as you can hear, the volume is going louder and louder. To add a new volume point, you can just double click and get a point. And here we can just increase it really loud and then go back down. So let's have a listen now. Let's rapid increase, even louder. So that's what automation does. Unlike other DAWs, I don't see the fader moving up and down as the volume changes. Stays as is. Except if I actually move the fader, it moves up relatively, up and down. Which is different to most DAWs that I have come across with. Which is not a problem. Except, let's have a quick sort of listen. As you can see, it will rise up really high and then back down again. Now, if I untick volume automation, you would think that it's just hidden in the background, like any other DAW, but the volume change effect should still apply. Let's have a listen. It's steady volume. Our automation is no longer applied unless we tick and enable it. Which is okay, let's get it ticked. But if we want to do panning as well, which is the same scenario, we can, um, let's say I want to add a panning point there, um, and maybe a point there, and a point here, so we can go That way, and another point here. A bit tricky sometimes. So it's going to go left and then right, and then back to the middle. Let's have a listen. Working correctly, left, and then, and then right. So that's all good, except if we uncheck the panorama. So we've got no display of automation. Now, the volume worked, but not the panning. So you sort of start wondering, what is going on? Here's another issue I found. Click on panorama, and then say, oh, I like that to be in the center. And all of a sudden, panorama disappeared all the way to the right. So even though my panning is centered here, sound is coming from the right. And doesn't matter, doesn't matter which direction I turn, still to the right. 
until I remove panorama automation. Now I'm back. And now my volume automation is working again. So I'm not sure what is going on. So that is the problem that I have found with Magic Music Maker automation. It's great option to have it in there, as I mentioned in my introduction, to allow um, someone creating music here to give that volume changes, to give uh, you know some dynamics into the song. But if it's not working, then it won't work. Same thing happens with the effect sends. If we have effects one level right there. As soon as we have automation, you can see effects level going up. Regardless what our effects send is, at the moment there's none. Still going. Let's um, automate. It's a bit tricky sometimes to click on these things as well. Bear with me. And I'm just going to increase full effect by the third bar. You can see uh, more of the effects being sent to the effects channel. So as you saw, in time, more of the effects was sent, regardless of the fact that I have this full or not. As soon as we disable or untick that, now we're back to manual. So those are the problems I think Magic has to fix if they want people to use automation in their Magic Music Maker. As you can see, by using track automation, and we can change volume, panning, effects, we can change the dynamics of the song as the song is progressing to give a bit more variety into the song arrangement because if we are using loops, loops are repeating all the time. So use automation to change the dynamics and you know change volumes throughout the song so that your listener is not tired of the same loop over and over again. Well, I hope this helps you out now you know how to do automation in Magic Music Maker free. Of course, this also applies to the Plus and the Premium Edition as well. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.